Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 394. 394, At the Lamb's High Feast. At the Lamb's high feast we sing Praise to our victorious King Who has washed us in the tide Flowing from his wounded side Praise we him whose love divine Gives his sacred blood for wine Gives his body for the feast Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheathes his sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the special intention for Olga Nazar, the holy souls in purgatory, and those in our book of life. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days, when by your gift we have made known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south, to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard the official reading the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked, Do you understand what you were reading? The official replied, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this, Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, about whom, may I ask you, does the prophet say this, about himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with the scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. 
What is to prevent me from being baptized? And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he replied, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azotus, as, and as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Those who had been fed by the five loaves followed Jesus to the other side of the lake and asked him for a sign that they should believe in him. Jesus said to them, No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the man in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. When we think of our Eucharistic theology, some people challenge the Catholic Church and say, well, where do you get it from? Well, Pope Francis didn't create it. Pope Benedict didn't create it. John Paul II didn't create it. Paul VI didn't create it. Jesus created it. It's right here in chapter 6. I am the living bread that has come down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. He doesn't say it looks like or might be like or... He makes any other reference. It is. This is my body. The whole basis of our church is that we are Eucharistic. It is so important that we understand that every time I receive communion, I am receiving the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ, my Messiah and Lord, who brings my soul strength, who gives me life, who is the very basis of my existence 
and who keeps me alive, not only in this life, but in the life that is to come. And so as we continue our Easter journey, my brothers and sisters, our understanding, our respect, our longing for the Eucharist, may it be strengthened by these scriptures that call us to a deep understanding of reverence to receive him and thanksgiving for receiving him. Trusting in the Lord's divine providence, let us bring before him our needs and the needs of the world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all members of the church. May God bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine and Russia and other war-torn parts of the world. May a spirit of goodwill bring forth understanding, reconciliation, and healing among all people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who experience hunger or malnutrition. May the Lord sustain them in hope and help them secure the sustenance they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are newly initiated into the church. May the Lord continue to instruct them in his ways and lead them on the path of righteousness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially the holy souls in purgatory, those in our book of life, and all those we hold within our hearts, that the Lord may have mercy upon them and welcome them into the banquet of his heavenly kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts, Almighty Father, in your wisdom, grant our prayers according to your most holy will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. By Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Philip, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Mighty victim from the sky, hell's fierce powers beneath you lie. You have conquered in the fight. You have brought us life and light. Now no more can death appall. Now no more the grave enthrall. You have opened paradise and in you the saints shall rise. Easter triumph, Easter joy, this alone can sin destroy. From sin's power, Lord, set us free, newborn souls in you to be. Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto you we raise, and to you our risen king with the spirit praise we sing god bless you have a good day